and I'm Ruth Bowick, the president of the New Horizons Senior Citizens Agency here in Kenora. And today we're going to talk about the bridge games. That are, just to, excuse me, that's my <laughs> fault. It shows you how much I know about playing <laughs> cards. It's cribbage today. And that's here it. we are. We have Bob Dutch here and we have Walter Morrison over here. And they, I see, are high stake bidders. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I'm going to ask them to deal the cards and let's let's let me see just deal the cards and, we'll, and I'll ask you some questions I know you've already been taken but you want to deal the cards out just if you're going to play sure okay so while you're doing that how long have you been playing bridge here what or why do I keep <laughs> saying bridge you know I would um, slap my hands two years <laughs> two years uh, and you uh, well, how long have you been coming here to I've play been cribbage? coming here for cribbage for over 15 years. Oh, I really? Think. Well, that's pretty good. You must love the game. Oh. Yeah. And I, I see, just... well, I think you come for the money because I see you've got, <laughs> <laughs> you've got quarters on the table. So uh, I know there's no charge, you know, actually. To, so that, let me just say, this is what you've decided, the two of you. You're going to mm. put down a quarter and see who wins. Well, yeah, I know sometimes you have three or four playing cri uh, cribbage here. So if there's four, then that's a dollar. So, I mean, you could really win a dollar some days <laughs> instead of 50 cents. <laughs> right? You never get to keep it. Oh, you never? Oh, 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 oh you're those kind of player. Oh, okay. Um, I, I overheard you say you, you would wish there were more people who would come out to play cribbage. Is that, uh, there's always room for more, I take it then? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I started here, we used to have four tables with four each. Oh, that's 16 people. That was 16. Yeah. Oh, I don't and, like uh, to ask what happened. That you were down to two uh, or three, but it's a death some takes other on, move people, away or into the hole? No, no, some other people <laughs> took over this area and people stopped coming. Oh, really? Well, we maybe won't go into that. That's kind no. of sad because cribbage is a fun game. It is. I mean, yeah. Uh -huh. Any so, card game yeah. is a fun, fun game. game. That's, well, that's true, yes. Uh -huh. And um, so when do, when do you play here? What is the date here? Uh, uh, just so the audience knows. I know why I'm here and what day I'm here, but what we're, day is, is cribbage played here? We're here on uh, Fridays from 2 to about 3. Two to three. Or no, I'm hour. sorry, from one till three. I was going to say, it's hardly coming out in the <laughs> yeah. winter for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'd like you to tell me, there's always also cribbage games going on in Kuwait, is that correct? In Kuwait and in Kuwait New Horizon Seniors. Yeah, yeah. This is the only place I play. Oh, that's the only yeah. place you, well, you must yep. play there. So, yeah, yeah, I okay. play there, too. So then you go twice a week, because yep. when does Kuwait play cribbage? Uh, Kuwait is Wednesday from two to four. Wednesday from two to four. So yep. you can play Wednesdays and Fridays then. Oh, yeah. And you like doing it. Of course. Mm -hmm. And how come you only come once a week? Is that enough for you, or is it you other commitments? I live at the north end of the city, so I come in to do shopping and. Oh, so you, and it happens to be on a Wednesday, which no, no, this Friday. is Friday. Sorry, <laughs> I'm really mixed up today. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm, now I know enough to say cribbage, crib. Okay. okay, I haven't made the mistake that the other mistake that I made when I started. So it sounds like it seems like it's a really fun. I think years ago I must have played cribbage because this board kind of looks familiar <laughs> where you peg stuff and. So what's the what is the object? Do you have to. How many points do you have to get? I see you got to go around like this and then up and down. Up to the end, which is so, 121. <coughs> so the total is you have to get, that's 121 points yep. when you get to the end over here. No, 121. Oh, up to, oh you have to, oh, it's I 120. See, okay, I see the there. finish sign now. That's the yep, finish, yeah. Yep, yep. And that's when you reach over and grab his quarter yep. if you win. So this is, looks like a very, I just say, a patriotic board, rare, white, blue, something like you would, it's, I thought it came from the United States, but I see it's made in Taiwan, so that's <laughs> not the case. Anyways, I just thought I'd throw that in because it really looks patriotic, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, yeah, it looks like the American flag. Now, uh, let me ask you a couple more questions. It's a nice pastime coming here, isn't it, down oh, to the yeah, senior center? Definitely, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. And you only use it on the Fridays yes. when you come for bridge, but how do you find it? Is it sociable? It's a sociable oh, place? Oh, yes. And, mm -hmm. I enjoy it. Have you ever stayed for a meal or anything like that? Or you um, avail yourself of other... Uh, just a couple of the specialized lunches. Oh, yes. Is that, the, is that the Tuesday ones, if you can remember? Yes. So you do come in on a Tuesday then? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not just Wednesday or, right. Thursday, or Fridays or Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Do uh, you want to just lead off a little bit just to show me what you're, you're going to... Oh, you have to... You have to cut. Cut. Okay. And the person that cuts... Oh, it doesn't matter. It's not the... Ten. Okay, just... Sixteen. So you got a ten and a six. Okay. Four. Twenty. Twenty. Oh, that's right. 24 for two. Oh, because you, you paired it? Yep. Okay, so you get two points. 25. 27. 28. 30 for a goal. For a goal. Okay, so that means, a goal means you go on to the next? No, that's it. 
Yeah. That's so you got to fold the it. end of that. So you got to pound up your points yeah, here. 15, 2, 15, 4, and 2 for a pair of 6. Okay. And I have here 15, 2, 15, 4, and 8 is close to a dozen. Yeah. Well, it looks yeah. like you're in the winning, yeah, but you haven't, you haven't made like the game. Well, <laughs> you got then, a long way then, to go. Then you get to call it your crib. Oh, oh, you had the crib this time. Yeah. Oh, and that's see, where okay, crib comes from. Seven and eight is 15, so you got two. That's all? That's it. Oh, because you got queens and tens there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they don't call for anything. <laughs> you have to make a run. A run. Or, or, or a 15. And that's what you get a pair. Or a flush. Okay, well, I think I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as complex as, as it sounds. Sound. No. No. Well, I'm just going to let you play one more round just so I can see if I can figure this out a little more. Yeah. I would take it, though, that you two have played for yeah. not just here, but played crib for many, oh. many years. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you play any other card games? No. Yeah. What about you? Me? Any other <laughs> card games besides cribbage? Uh. Not really. Not really, okay. This, this is your passion. Not See? really. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, I just stop for a second. I see you threw a bunch of cards over there. Is that the crib? That's that you the crib. Yep. Uh, <coughs> so did you each put in two? Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. So if there was yep. four here, would you still put in two or would you put no, in one? No, just put in one okay. each. Okay, go and ahead. And then you'd only deal five cards. Ah. Two. Four. Wow. Teen. 23, 25, 27, gold. 29 for three. Because you had three twos. No. 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 Two for a pair and one for the gold. One for the gold. Ah, okay. And see, I get to count first. Does that make a difference? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, if you're down close to here. Oh, if you're close to the Oh, so the first one out is the, gets yeah. the finish line there. Is, yeah. Yes. So that's yeah, why it's so whoever we'll counts first then. I got so 15, that's you. 2, 15, 4, and 3 for the run is 7. You're doing okay. <coughs> two, four, and three, I say, huh? Seven. And you? Fifteen, two, fifteen, four, fifteen, six, and six is twelve. Yeah. Would you mind explaining how come you got twelve out of a nine and three twos, okay. please? Okay. Uh, fifteen, two, fifteen, four, fifteen, six, and six for three twos. No. Oh, okay. So you're wrong. No. Oh, you, he says you're wrong. Fifteen, eight. Well, this is interesting. Fifteen, two, in four, four or six, and another fifteen there. Oh, okay. So you get two more than you thought you did. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice of you. He could have <laughs> let him go. Uh, well, if you're playing. But we're playing it, on camera, so. It, <laughs> no, but if you're playing <clears throat> at certain with the, the proper rules, then you say muggins, and I would take the two. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. But, but you were very nice about this. <laughs> no, no. We're very we, casual we, here. It's we're so casual. Okay. Uh, you're not going to. Okay. So now you're going to count your crib. 15, yeah. two, 15, four. And one for the jack the right matching. Jack. The oh, and because it matches in hearts. Yep. Okay. Yep. So how many did you get there? Five. Six. You get so you're ahead. Two, four. You're ahead of the game two now. Minus five. Did he do it right this time? <laughs> you're two, checking. Two, four. <laughs> and the right jack. And the right jack is five, yeah. Oh, Sorry. okay. I'm slow today. Mm -hmm. there. Well, listen, I want to thank both of you, Bob, and you, Walter. This has been very nice, very interesting to me, and I hope I haven't uh, embarrassed you too much because uh, no. I'm so ignorant of the game. But uh, it looks like it might be something that I can do to... I can count. So <laughs> I'm not very talented in a lot of things, but I know I can count. So I'm going to say thank you very much. It's just been a pleasure dealing with you. And uh, I'm going to try and get over to Kuwait and see what they're doing over there. Well, thank you, and I'm back, and now I'm back at the, I, I call it, it's a little craft corner. It's sort of like a little gift shop, but it's a craft corner. And I'm here with Diana Jardine, who is the, now you tell us your title here at the New Horizon um, Senior Center. You are the, the office administrator. The office administrator, but she's very helpful in so many ways, and now she's going to help me describe this little craft boutique here, uh, which I still think it's like a cute little gift shop. So I'm going to ask you, Diana. Um, as far as, long as, as far as you know, how long has 
a, a, a craft show like this being here at the New Horizon Center? Is it just something you started in the last few years? or? Uh, I've been here between nine, ten years, and it was starting when I came. So I'm going to say it's been here for, in this location, I would say for ten years. Mm -hmm. And how did you get members of the New Horizons interested in uh, doing their cr crocheting and their knitting? to set up this little boutique here. How, how did that come about that well, they thought it was a good idea? They, yeah, well, lots of the, the ladies, they really like to uh, to knit or crochet, and they love to come down to the center. It's uh, Thursday afternoons at 1 o'clock, and uh, they would bring their, their crafts with them. They're, like I say, pretty much knitting and crocheting. Uh, one lady uh, was doing those wonderful scrubbers. Mm -hmm. So that's, but there again, that was a knitting. It was a okay. knitting process. And uh, they'd come and they'd work on their projects, and uh, they'd always bring a snack, a little. Oh. Yeah. Every they took turns every week, so they'd have like a little tea party. A little social event. It them, was wonderful. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So not only did they they sit and knit, and make these lovely crafts. Um, when they were finished, they'd have tea, uh -huh. and uh, say every week somebody would bring a different person would bring a little snack, like Wasn't a nice cake yeah. or cookies uh -huh. or loaf, uh -huh. and they'd sit. So it was a social afternoon. And it was for a them. wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very very nice Great. afternoon. Great. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. it, uh, and at one point we did have, uh, we had quite a few members who really did look forward to, to coming and mm -hmm. spending mm -hmm. the afternoon, mm -hmm. Thursday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Well, let's take a little look at some of the, some of the things. First of all, I want to point out, if you just excuse my back, mm -hmm. all this wool that's here, so the members can come in and pick up the wool, take it home and knit or crochet mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. they do, and then. Uh, where do you get a lot of this wool from? Some left from uh, states that donated. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We most of our wool is donated, and people will call us and ask us if we accept wool. And yes, uh, estates for sure. Yes. And uh, this isn't all of it. We have a lot oh, you more. Do. Oh, I thought maybe you're running out. Oh no! Out or, uh -huh, oh no! Uh -huh, not uh -huh. at all. This this is just a very small uh -huh. portion. So if oh, any of okay. our members, uh, which we have advertised, would like to come down and pick up wool and uh, knit take it home and for uh, us mm -hmm. and or come and knit on Thursdays they can, when oh, they have their little oh, craft day. Oh, sometimes they actually knit and sew or crochet here too. Right oh. here, knit and crochet here. So don't have to do here. it at home. Oh no, this is why they yeah. had the crafters ah, on the Thursday okay, afternoon yeah. and they mm -hmm. just sit at the tables yeah. and knit and mm -hmm. talk mm -hmm. and, yeah. and uh, as you can see we've got yes, some I'd beautiful, like to just, beautiful items here. I'm just going to hold up a few things here. Like these lovely, I'll just bring it down so we can, oh sure. Bring down some of these, just to sh so the camera can see these cute little baby outfits. Beautiful, aren't they? That, isn't this one's got the matching hat? Yeah, yeah. little. Cable I mean, they're just the, it's so intricate, you know. Like they're not just plain throwing. Like, no. look at the cute little hat that matches. It's stuff. Somebody's that you watching this on on <laughs> Channel Ten and saying, "I know the name of this pattern." Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. And see? you would you would find these beautiful sweaters, baby sweaters, yeah. and they're are so soft in, uh, and lovely. In beautiful craft shops, yeah. and. Uh, yeah, so they are available. And then these are oh these oh these are little baby what the little like hats. Two, uh, what do you call bella Yeah, yeah. I don't know if the, I'll bring it over. We can just kind of yeah. show the you hold the little ear. Yeah. And then your little face sticks out there to keep nice and warm. Yeah, yeah. very Isn't cute. That cute. Very cute. Yeah. And the oh the I see the mitts to match. Mitts to match. Yeah. Lovely little toques. All different kinds uh -huh. of little. Oh yes, toques for little ones. And we've got some bibs. Bibs, lots uh, of the mitts. little tea towels that hang over the stove. Oh, over the stove. Yeah, you flip this, you button it on the stove handle, so you can just wipe your hands. Oh, I, you. I use them on yeah, the, by very, my tap. Yeah, yeah they're uh -huh. very scarves. Yeah. Let's take out a scarf. hand knit scarves. Uh -huh. And what is this? Oh, another sweater? Why is it down here like this? It looks like it's in the. Yeah, it looks just like a little, like a little kind of a shawl type thing for oh, a little one. Oh, here's something interesting. Sometimes I get people asking me for at teas if the, people would make men's wool socks for the winter. Now just look at those. Are those lovely? Uh, they, they are. Because mm -hmm. for some reason men like heavy wool socks, I guess, in yeah. the winter. Yeah, those I are very know. nice. And then there's little, oh, these little are little ornaments. Christmas yeah. trees. Other little Or any kind things. of an ornament. This, mm -hmm. Yeah, not more mitts. Mm -hmm. So there's, and what are these down here? Oh, they, these are like little hot pot, like little trivets. Oh, for, oh yeah, yeah, to put your to hot, put your pot, little on. hot pot on. And, and this is, what is that? Bibs. Is there you go, Ruth. 
There you are. Tonight I've, when you have your dinner. When I'm slopping, <laughs> I have slurping up my soup. Okay. To keep your lovely outfit tidy. Yeah, aren't they? <laughs> These are cute. And this is funny because uh, many of the this might be a small one here, but we did have a small. For a baby? For That's children. Oh, yeah. And this bigger one is for adults. So as much as we oh, hate and to admit it. this is a really it, big one. Yep. Oh, and it's got pockets. This one. Can I see? <laughs> So those this would are, be, and they're yeah. And any of the dribbles that go in, <laughs> they're in demand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as well, we get older, uh, so there is some sewing done here too. Then uh, actually, this was not done here. Oh, it wasn't. This, as you had mentioned, people bringing in crafts. Uh, this was sewn by one of our members at her home okay. and brought in. And yes. she, but she still donated it. Oh, absolutely. Every so it's single her own, her own material. Every then. single uh -huh. thing yeah, here uh -huh. is donated. Uh -huh. But, uh, little, these are tiny little things. We thought these were so cute for little one. Little oh. tiny, the little slippers. And look the, at these size of these. <laughs> look at the size of these. Size uh, zero. So you can hold that and cute the little, little teddies. Yeah. We had many He's of these, cute. but these He's are gone. Just, yeah. 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 So well, I think this is just wonderful that you have this. Here. It is very nice. I know I have a brother and sister-in-law that come in here. They, uh, they're not members, but they come in to anybody to buy because, can come. Yeah, because they really to like shop. the. Yeah, that's right. It's cute. It's really cute. It's very cute. cute. Yeah. It's, yeah. And it's, it is. And the getting, thing is, it gives members something to do too. That oh, absolutely. You know, that's the nice Th part of it. They feel useful. Yes, you know, exactly. they're doing something that's, yeah. that uh -huh. is very useful, uh -huh. and that they know what to do, how exactly. to do it. Exactly. Yeah. And this is open. Yeah. It's all year round. Anybody can pop down. Well, that's it. Make say that again. How they want to shop. The, for wool well, they can not only shop, but um, this, the wool, and say so this is just a very small portion. I know. And the but they can come can and come, pick it up for free. Pick it up, they don't have to pay for it. Knit and, for and then, us. And donate, yeah. And it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it's a wonderful nice. service. I think it really is because it gives it them something good. to do that they're mm -hmm. talented in, and they're so uh, happy yeah. to be doing it all. And homemade. People yes. love mm -hmm. homemade, mm -hmm. and that's yeah. kind of a dying art. Uh, isn't it though? You don't see too many people. You know, you can go to the store and buy things, but they get something. Handmade is it's pretty really, special. Yeah. Uh -huh. It means is a lot yes, to yeah. you. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you, Diana. Oh, my pleasure. You've been just so wonderful helping me as president, <laughs> as well as me learning more oh. and more about. Since I've been doing this show for uh, Shaw Cable Channel 10, yes, it's wonderful. I have learned uh, more than I <laughs> than I knew that went on here. Oh. And as president, it's up to me to know things. So this mm. has been an experience for me yeah. too. So thanks again. It's been a wonderful experience for me, as well as I'm sure it has been it for has you. It has been yeah. for me too. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're back, and now I'm here with Anna Norton. She's been a longtime member of the uh, Kenora, the Kenora and the Kuwaitan branch of the uh, New Horizons Senior Citizens. And uh, Anna, first of all, just before we get into what you're doing here today with, with the bridge games, I'm going to you know a little bit about the uh, off offset of the kitchen here and the social ability and. Uh, I understand that uh, it was a man named Len Hakinson that's originated. Hawkinson, Could you tell I believe. Hawkinson. That uh, that was the. St Started the bridge in Kuwait. Kuwait, okay. Um, and was this place here then, or was it somewhere else? Was this? Um, I think it was here. Oh, was it? So when they've had senior citizens here at the in Kuwait, it's always this been. This has been here, oh, I think. Okay, as so far as I know. Well, I don't know either. So no. like, yeah. You know, well, we'll okay. We'll go with it's been we'll here. We'll go with that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So I know uh, we were taken through the kitchen. It's quite a kitchen. So do you often yes. serve lunches or anything like they do in Kenora? Um, they have a lunches no, now. No, we used to uh -huh. do a lunch uh -huh. and could come and get our lunch before bridge. But we don't have enough volunteers. Oh, now. that's it, the volunteers. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You might have the people to come and buy lunch, that's but right. you don't have the volunteers yes. to make it. Yeah. Well, that's pretty standard now around town. Seems to be. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, it's very yeah. reasonable. It's too bad. You well, know? that's it. They could yeah. have like I know, and uh, I don't want to use Kenora because we're in Kuwaitin. But anyway, so now I'm going to. Well, the reason, one of the reasons we're here today, is for Shaw Cable to be able to tell all of kinds of things that go on at the New Horizons Senior Center in Kenora and in Kuwaitin. But today we're here because it. Was was a big bridge, quite a big bridge game. Now, um, I have played some bridge, so I pretty well know what you're talking about. But uh, how long have you been? Have you do any instructing in bridge in bridge no, games? No, I don't. You no. just uh, you just you're just responsible for organizing the Kuwait and bridge game, which yes, takes for place. The, the number of people uh -huh. to play. And you play when? What days and what time? We play at Thursday uh -huh. at twelve thirty to quarter to one. Oh, we start between there sometime. Okay. I think it says it is a quarter to one, but 
we often start before that if everybody's here. Okay. Well, then how? Because it's it's nearly three thirty now, so mm -hmm. you play for a couple of hours then, or does it We'd take whatever it takes? Three to, sets of eight. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. Okay, three sets of eight. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it usually is to at least three thirty. Uh -huh. Sometimes we're a little later. Uh -huh. Today we were short one person. That takes a little longer. Okay, because because you, someone has to go to that table to bid. Oh, would that be the, now? You see, I know a little bit about bridge. Would that be the dummy from another table that yes. would run over to the uh -huh. fill in? I see. So that's mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the person that didn't miss today, he's going to he or she will be really upset when Shaw Cable that's airs right. this because they're going to say, "I wasn't there." <laughs> darn it! Yeah. Well, yeah. he forgot to come, I guess, uh -huh. or he's maybe away. So it's really nice to have this sociability because uh, I understand a lot of you also play in Kenora Bridge. Knorr as we well do. as Kiwaitin. Mm -hmm. So you really get to know a lot of people here. That's one thing the senior center is good for, isn't it? That's right. To meet other people and socialize and be able, even if it's 40 below, you still come out. That's doesn't right. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. Now, there is one thing I'm going to ask you because they were saying that, uh, we're, and we touched on it just a few seconds ago. Exactly what is the dummy in Bridge? Well, when after you bid, there's always one that, like, there's one couple that win the bidding. And okay. the one who opened the bid plays it, and the other one is the dummy. So they pretty well just sit there and, and, and watch. And what's watch going. that one. Yeah. And maybe push the cards along or something yeah. to make them closer. Whatever. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. So that's what the dummy is. Now, I knew that, but I thought just in case we hear the word dummy, that if people that are watching this on the air right. you know, might think, well, I'm not going to play bridge because I don't want to be a dummy. You know, <laughs> well, we're all dummies. We're all <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. So... Uh, um, I'm trying to think of when the senior, I think Jim took, it. was he the one that first started the senior center? Was that Mabel Harvey? And I'm just trying I to think don't how long. Know for sure, did. but uh -huh. I'm wondering about Mabel Harvey. Uh, Seems to me that she and Jim took was later then because he was the responsible for re uh, redesigning the kitchen. I understand here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That uh -huh. I don't uh -huh. know for sure. Okay. No. So um, you're you're pretty regular here with your with the uh, bridge players, like they're. Well, what about in the summer? Uh, we, do you get any tourists coming in? We do. We get mm -hmm. extra in the summer, mm -hmm. both places. Okay. And um, so we find it a little more difficult now to get like four tables even. It is, is it? Mm -hmm. I had four tables today, but one person didn't come. Oh, so, but that was because they probably forgot or something. I think so, so, yes. so like four fours, that's 16, 16 yep. players. So that's yeah, pretty that's good. That's pretty good. Yeah, and uh, I mean, today is not a very nice day, so. No, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we yeah. usually get, are able to get more in, in Kenora. Okay, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. so you play in both places? I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. And actually I do yeah. the same yeah. job. Uh -huh. Not right now. Okay. We we switch around when somebody's away or okay. things like mm -hmm. that. Well, I do notice that uh, Pat's in doing Kenora, it in Kiwi, oh, or in Kenora, Kenora right now. Pat, Pat uh, Peterson. Oh, okay. But I noticed on my schedule here that on a Wednesday in Kenora, there's bridge lessons from 12 to 12:30. Now, do you know anything? Are you helping with that at no, all? I'm no, not. so you don't. You couldn't really tell I me. I can't tell you anything no. about it. Whether there's a lot of people sign up or anything like that. But we're always happy to get mm -hmm. people new people. From I bet. There. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what else takes place here besides bridge? If you don't mind telling me, I know we're here for bridge, but uh, you have other card games well, or do you have any? I'm not. Uh, I think they do have maybe cribbage and, but. Uh, You'd have to ask Doreen about that. Well, I'd like to welcome Doreen Belair. She's one of the hostesses here at the New Horizons uh, of Kuwait and Senior Center. And she's going to tell me a little bit more about what goes on at the Kuwait and Seniors through the week, as well as with the bridge games that were taking place here today. We have exercises on Tuesdays. We have whist on Tuesday afternoons. We have cribbage on Wednesday afternoons. And then this bridge group on Well, that's Thursdays. pretty good then. Yeah. yeah we have yeah. three, yeah. three yeah. days that we're open yeah. here. Now, you're the hostess for today. Just for today. I'm yeah. only on every other Thursday. Uh -huh. And your job is to get the tea, uh, tea and coffee ready and some cookies Something that maybe are donated? Or yes. By yes. The, some of the members bring some yeah, cookies some or something? some of them do. And mm -hmm. some of them, if we don't have anything, mm -hmm. we'll pick some up or okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So this is quite a social place for people to come then. We hope so. Yeah, people well, I, come. I had a, a lady here visiting this afternoon while they were playing bridge, uh -huh. and that was kind of nice. Yes, yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, thank you very much for just uh, clearing thank some out, because I know there's more that goes on here than just a bridge game. The other so. four or five other, other hostesses mm -hmm. just besides myself. Oh, so. okay. Yes, I'm only on here once every two weeks. Oh, okay. So that's nice. So you can, you're not, you know, commit as steady. No. Nope. Yeah, so... Well, thank you again, Doreen. This You're is yeah, Doreen Belair. Thank you. And she's a, a longtime member uh, on the board. You served on the uh, New Horizons board. And what else did you do? I think you you no, were I was secre active secretary for five years. Yeah. So she's been a very active member for many, many years. So I thank you for coming out of the kitchen today <laughs> and uh, <laughs> safe, washing the mugs that people had their tea and coffee and coming just to bring us up to date on what goes on at the Kuwaitan part of the New Horizons You're Center. Welcome. So thanks, Doreen. So now I'm back with you again. So, uh, <laughs> now we found out that there's, a, I guess cards must be quite popular because she said I whist. I so. Well, no, she said bridge and she said whist. What did she say, you was it? Um, no, cribbage. Cribbage. I, I thought she said four things. But anyways, people can always, is it, would it be okay like if someone, say you're playing bridge and someone dropped in and didn't know about it and there was a spare chair, could they just sit down and take like, or do they have to book? They have to reserve that they're coming. If there was a spare chair and they play bridge, we They'd would be welcome. welcome them. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I just wondered that because sometimes people don't. This is what Shaw. We're great. The New Horizons is really grateful to Shaw Cable for letting us do this because it's going to let the people and the seniors in Kenora, 55 and over what goes on both in Kuwait and Kenora and we're really happy that Kuwait has their own little you know place here because mm -hmm. then they don't have to you know make the trek especially if they're older and they haven't got their own cars anymore and they have to depend on the bus sort of things like that they can just drop in here socialize play some of the card games and I understand there's also exercise classes I think I should yes, have asked her about that. that's what she did. But there's she exercise. She said there was. Oh she did eh? Okay. I think it's Tuesday morning. Oh okay well, that's good. So anyways like the Shaw Cable airing this then we know that uh, people are going to see it and be able to take advantage you know of what goes on mm -hmm. at the senior centers and uh, I know I'm president and so I know there's a lot go on but a lot of a lot that does people go on don't. but people don't know no. so maybe through this and again I'm going to say thank you Shaw Cable because this has been really wonderful so now okay. I want to also thank uh, the people that were going to be watching this and uh, I'll see you next time we still have some more to cover at our Kenora New Horizons Senior Center so I'll be back for something else to, to uh, present to the citizens of Kenora. Thank you.